Oh, the shark has pretty teeth, dear, and it shows them pearly white. Just a when they're high fish, they're hot zany. When the tracker im Many of us will recognize that bit of melody, but those lyrics, is that Mac the Knife translated into German? Hi, I'm Maurice Tanny, and this is another episode of Acoustic Guitars Campfire Songs, a series where we take a classic, familiar song and work out a simple single guitar arrangement suitable for a beginner to tackle or a more advanced player to use as a starting point to take a fresh look at an old song. So, is that Mac the Knife translated into German? Well, close. Actually, the version most of us are familiar with was originally written in German by Bertolt Brecht and Kurt Weill for their 1928 musical drama The Three Penny Opera. Of course, tangling the roots even further is the fact that Brecht and Weill's work was adapted from an English to German translation of John Gay's 1728 play The Beggar's Opera. The protagonist in Mac the Knife, Mac Heath, originates in Gay's story as a sort of anti-hero, a womanizing captain of a band of robbers driven by love. But 200 years later, Brecht's 1928 McHeath is a much darker, much more sinister character. But by the time we get to Bobby Darin's swinging big band version, the 50s pop culture of film noir and rat pack entertainers flirting with organized crime seems to have blunted the shock of Mac Heath's murderous activities to the point of the record approaching a sense of joyous celebration of the underworld. Just a few years earlier, Louis Armstrong's 1955 recording was actually banned over the lyric and still managed to reach number 20 on the Billboard Top 100. Of course, Darren's version was a monster hit, spending nine weeks at number one and winning two Grammy Awards. Times changed in about five years there in the 50s. But what really sets Darren's version apart, certainly as much as the driving, swinging modern groove, was the use of five half-step modulations that keep raising the tension with each pass through the changes. Modulations are a very effective arrangement device, but for our purposes here, they can be challenging for beginners to play, as almost invariably, they wind up requiring chords that can't be played easily in the basic open first position cowboy chord style. So we're going to focus first on the basic original form in one easy to play key. Then, I'll show you the still relatively easy way I would approach the chords with modulations in mind. While the chords are a little beyond the simple open cowboy folk style, they're actually pretty easy to form. In the key of E, the first chord is E6. I'm going to show you another variation of this chord when we get to modulating, but for this original pre-Bobby Darren non-modulating version, this fingering works well and allows you to use all of the strings for strumming. Then we've got an F sharp minor 7. This is easy. It looks easy. It is easy. Beginners just need to be sure to deaden or avoid that fifth string, the A string. Then there's a B9 sus4. Now you could actually play this with just one finger, but considering we're coming out of that F sharp minor 7 form, I'm simply going to move that finger over a string. And rather than deadening the fourth string, in this case the D, we're going to fret it. So this fingering also allows us to play an alternating bass pattern. Coming from the F sharp minor 7, I don't have to reposition my hand like I would if I was doing it with just one finger. I'm just moving it over. I will use that one finger version at the end of the progression for the turnaround though. So then we've got a G sharp minor 7. This is the same form as that F sharp minor 7 with the same caveat to deaden or avoid that fifth string. Then there is a G diminished 7. This sounds fancy. It's not particularly difficult to form. And that's about it for the basic progression. The obvious strum would be a downstroke pattern. You hit the low note on one stroke 
and then the rest of the chord on the next one. It's helpful to sort of palm mute the strings to keep them from ringing. But for our purposes here, I'm going to use a finger picking pattern. I like the way we can articulate notes we want and avoid the ones we don't want interfering. Finger style also allows the ability to alternate an arpeggiating pattern with a more piano-like stride, which is similar to the downstroke pattern, actually. Oh, the shark has pretty teeth, dear, and he shows them a pearly white. Oh, the jackknife has Mac Heath, dear, and he keeps it out of sight when the shark bites with his teeth dear scarlet billows start to spread fancy glove though where's old Mac Heath dear so there's never never a trace of red so the modulation version. This is relatively simple for us as we're already using chord forms that can simply be moved up a fret each time we change key, except the first form, that E6. To accommodate this issue, when we leave our starting key of E, we're going to use a different fingering for that six chord. This fingering, like the F sharp minor seven or the G sharp minor seven, requires us to deaden or avoid that fifth string, the A string. Of course, it's also a bar chord, which many beginners will dread, but don't be deterred, you can do this. Having a few bar chord shapes in your quiver unlocks the ability to play in many different keys, so it's well worth the effort. The other detail in modulating is the method used to make the change of key. In this case, we do this by playing the final chord of the verse up a fret. In verse 2, instead of playing the B9 sus4, we're going to move up a fret and play it as a C9 sus4. This leads our ear to the key of F, where everything is the same, only up a fret. When we get to the end of that verse, we'll use the same method for moving the last chord up another fret, leading us to F sharp. We just keep repeating that pattern until Mackie's back in town. So let's play the song. As in Bobby Darren's version, the first two verses start in the basic key, which for us is E. Then we'll start modulating. Watch for that raised final chord at the end of the second verse and every verse after that. Let's do it. Oh, the shark has pretty teeth, dear. And he shows them pearly white Just a jackknife has Mac Heath, dear And he keeps it out of sight When the shark bites with his teeth, dear Scarlet billows start to spread Fancy gloves, though Where's old McKeith, dear? So there's never, never trace of red. Here we go. On the sidewalk, Sunday morning, lies a body just a oozing life. Someone sneaking round the corner. Could that someone be Mac the Knife? There's a tugboat down by the river, don't you know? That cement bag's just a drooping down. Oh, cement is just for the weight, dear. Five will get you ten, old Mackie's back in town. Did you hear about Ruby Miller? He disappeared, babe. After drawing out all his hard-earned cash And old Mac Heath spends like a drunken sailor Could it be our boy's done something rash? Jenny Diver 
Yasuki Tawdry, old Miss Lottie Lania, and sweet Lucy Brown. Oh, the line forms on the right, dear. Now that Mackie's back in town.